uh, even trivial measures that exist everywhere are very hard to implement in this country. We're seeing it in Congress right now. Uh, measures like uh, uh, maternity leave, which is everywhere. I think there are a couple of Pacific Islands that join the United States and not having paid maternity leave. We go to the second largest country in the hemisphere, uh, hardly a, 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 a site of uh, enormous progress. Brazil, uh, the women have uh, four months guaranteed paid maternity leave, which can be extended a couple of months uh, paid for by the social security system. In the United States, you can't get a day. All right, so I wanted to get into this fascinating interview that Noam Chomsky recently did on Democracy Now!, where he was discussing issues pertaining to the Republican Party shifting more and more towards the right, while the Democrats, at least majority of the Democrats, are occupying a centrist position. But unfortunately, we also have a few Democrats that are even occupying a center-right position, which therefore corresponds in explaining the present-day stagnation that we find in the Senate. And more specifically, Noam Chomsky goes into not only issues pertaining to health care expansion, educational expansion, such as expanding Medicare, such as supporting an initiative and or provision of the Build Back Better agenda, such as community colleges tuition free but more specifically noam chomsky went into highlighting how a provision like maternity leave already exists in other western democracies let alone existing within the context of the nordic model at an even more robust rate therefore most of these policies that are stagnated in congress largely due to the fact that Republicans, a few of them are not even on board, let alone specifically two Democrats, Senator Manchin, Senator Cinema, continue to not support anything that's remotely left-leaning. So therefore, what we have is the present-day stagnation. And Noam Chomsky also goes into highlighting how this stagnation has largely manifested from a neoliberal 1980s and onwards phenomena where anything and everything pertaining to unleashing the private sector, whether deregulating and privatizing the marketplace, let alone unleashing, unleashing economic opportunities for the upper tax bracket in terms of providing massive tax cuts in hopes of trickle-down effects not materializing, has corresponded in impacting the middle and lower classes. Therefore, some of these provisions that already exist, Noam Chomsky goes into, that already exist, such as access to health care, such as access to maternity leave, such as access to education, in other Western democracies, let alone within the context of the Nordic model, and even found even more globally, therefore none of which is radical, but is only radical within the context of American politics, largely because no one's occupied a left-wing position 1980s and onwards, really all the way up until Bernie Sanders at the federal and national level. Therefore, the left has for the longest time been missing from national conversations Therefore, the left, i.e. the progressive left, i.e. the Bernie Sanders left, gets perceived as being radical within the American context. Largely because of, of course, corporate funding playing a role in shaping and molding the decisions that politicians play, but also, also the right-wing propaganda that corresponds in framing an individual like Bernie Sanders who is merely just trying to expand most of the great society programs that were created in the 1960s, whether Medicare, 
whether public education, whether even issues pertaining to social security. Therefore, he gets viewed as a radical, but these individuals get normalized, although they themselves exemplify radical politics, such as being aligned with oligarchy and plutocracy as opposed to being aligned with the middle and lower classes. Therefore, this is some of the analysis that uh, Noam Chomsky goes into articulating. The Cole Barron from West Virginia and Joe Manchin, the leading recipient in Congress of fossil fuel funding, dragging his feet on everything, joining the 100% Republican opposition in a cinema from my state, huge recipient of big pharma, other corporate funding, also dragging her feet. Even the simplest things, like what I mentioned, are very hard to get through in a country that's been poisoned by right-wing propaganda, by corporate power, 